what I'm finding is a lot of people's reactions are connected to fear. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Lawn Hub is a business that has uh, a very high number of interactions and most of them are on a keyboard and most of them are on social media platforms. And it's a very, very uh, clear way to understand the heartbeat or the pulse or the barometer of how your business is going by going and reading comments on social. And what I'm finding in all of our businesses is when something, when a complaint comes in and a bad review comes in or an aggressive threat comes in, most of the time it's connected to fear because the person that is communicating with you has has a fear around them not getting what they deserve or um, them having a loss or whatever it might be. And I think, you know, if I really sat down and pondered on this, you'd probably find a lot of parallels around fear everywhere. And so, for example, with Lawn Hub, if uh, someone's order gets lost, they have this fear that they're going to lose their money and they're not going to get their order. If someone's order rocks up damaged, they have a fear that they're going to get stuck with this damaged order and it's not going to work or it's going to, you know, they're not going to get the support. And, you know, with WaterPro, for example, if we don't get a delivery out on time, um, there's a fear that they're not going to finish their work and then they're going to get, you know, their client's going to be angry at them and all that. So what I do and what I encourage my team to do to mitigate the um, the fear and reduce the concerns from our clients is just, you know, over fix and over communicate. So for Lawn Hub, you know, we have so many instances where an order is sent via a courier and it's tracking, but it's just taking ages or it's lost in a warehouse or whatever. And you'll get a client say, hey, just want to know where my order is because I was hoping to put my lawn down this weekend. And we communicate back quickly and we do it as quick as we can, but we literally get hundreds of messages a day. Hundreds, yeah, it'd be hundreds. And we just send them a new order and we put it on an express courier and we get it out there faster. And obviously they'll, they'll, their other order will get there at some point, probably 80% of the time. Sometimes it just gets lost. Um, you know, when you do a thousand orders a day, one or two might get lost. And so they get their order. They've been told it's fine. We're going to fix it. And all of the concern and the aggression and bad reviews and threats just dissipate really quickly. And, you know, anytime we have a negative review on Google, which happens from time to time, it's generally because they don't know, like, they don't know where to direct their fear. And so they go to Google for it. And um, then I'll make, I'll make contact with one of my team members and go, can you please contact uh, person X if they put their name on there? And then they'll do it. Recently, we had it with Railways. Uh, you know, they said X, we rang back, said, well, we were told Y. They said, oh yeah, that's probably fair. Removed the review, dealt with their fear. And, you know, if you're trying to build a brand that you want to be iconic and multi-generational and that will live beyond you, then in my mind and the way I do it, I'm just sharing my experience, you over service uh, all the time, provided that it's financially feasible for you to do so and fix your problems as fast as possible because they are going to happen and you know if you can do that then the fears are reduced and for me it reduces any anxiety i have around customer service because i do i care so much about the public perception of our brands um that it that it keeps me up at night and if someone says something negative about it then i want to deal with it and look there are trolls out there and you're just gonna there's gonna be dicks um that you come across you kind of need to just remove them as much as you can um, but the rest of them, if you can fix their fears fast, or there's got to be something in that, then you'll find uh, that they are happy and they will become advocates for your business and you will continue to grow. That is it. Thanks for tuning in to In The Car With Clint today. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other, most importantly. Be kind to yourself and we'll talk to you soon.